An iron lung, also known as a tank ventilator or drinker tank, is a mechanical respirator which encloses most of a person's body and varies the air pressure in the enclosed space to stimulate breathing. It assists breathing when muscle control is lost or the work of breathing exceeds the person's ability. Need for this treatment may result from diseases including polio and botulism and certain poisons. The use of iron lungs is largely obsolete in modern medicine as more modern breathing therapies have been developed and also due to the eradication of polio in most of the world. The iron lung is typically a large horizontal cylinder in which a person is laid with their head protruding from a hole in the end and the rest of their body sealed inside the cylinder. Within the cylinder, air pressure is continuously cycled up and down to stimulate breathing. To cause the patient to inhale, air is pumped out of the cylinder, causing a slight vacuum, which causes the patient's chest and abdomen to expand, drawing air from outside the cylinder, through the patient's exposed nose or mouth, and into the lungs. Then, for the patient to exhale, the air inside the cylinder is compressed slightly, causing the patient's chest and abdomen to partially collapse forcing air out of the lungs as the patient exhales the breath through their exposed mouth and nose outside the cylinder. Larger room-sized iron lungs were also developed, allowing for simultaneous ventilation of several patients, each with their heads protruding from the sealed openings in the outer wall, with sufficient space inside for a nurse or a respiratory therapist to be inside the sealed room, attending the patients. A lightweight variation is the jacket ventilator, also called the poncho or raincoat ventilator, which uses a flexible, impermeable material, such as plastic or rubber, stretched over a metal or plastic frame over the patient's torso. In 1670, English scientist John Mayow came up with the idea of external negative pressure ventilation. Mayow built a model consisting of bellows and a bladder to pull in and expel air. Early prototypes also included a hand-operated bellows-driven spirophore, designed by Dr. Wiley of Paris in 1876. There was also an airtight wooden box designed specifically for the treatment of polio by Dr. Stewart of South Africa in 1918. Stewart's box was sealed at the waist and shoulders with clay and powered by modern-driven bellows. The first of these devices to be widely used was developed in 1928 by Philip Drinker and Lewis Shaw Jr., professors of industrial hygiene at the Harvard School of Public Health. Sometimes called the Drinker respirator, the machine was powered by an electric motor with air pumps from two vacuum cleaners. The air pumps changed the pressure inside a rectangular airtight metal box, pulling air in and out of the lungs. The first clinical use of the drinker respirator on a human was in 1928 at the Boston Children's Hospital. The subject was an eight-year-old girl who was nearly dead as a result of respiratory failure due to polio. Her dramatic recovery, within less than a minute of being placed in the chamber, helped popularize the new device. Boston manufacturer Warren E. Collins began production of the iron lung that same year. Rows of iron lungs filled hospital wards at the height of the polio outbreak of the 1940s and 50s, helping children and some adults with bulbar polio and bulbospinal polio. A polio patient with a paralyzed diaphragm would typically spend two weeks inside an iron lung while recovering. Polio vaccination programs have virtually eradicated new cases in the developed world. Because of this, the development of modern ventilators and widespread use of tracheal intubation and tracheotomies, the iron lung has mostly disappeared from modern medicine. In early 2020, to address the urgent global shortage of modern ventilators needed for patients with advanced or severe COVID-19, some enterprises developed prototypes of new, readily producible versions of the iron lung. These developments included a compact torso-sized exovent developed by a team in the United Kingdom and a full-size iron lung developed in the United States. 